Well, in less than two hours, the person investigators say started this fire will be in court. Right now, dozens are still out of a home and their personal belongings are ruined because of the fire. 41 Action News reporter Andres Gutierrez is working this story since it broke this morning. You've talked with the Red Cross about how they're helping victims, but let's talk about these charging documents in this case, Andres. Yeah, Cynthia, it provides more details as to what happened here Friday morning. The suspect did tell investigators that she started the fire by accident. At the time, she was, quote, attempting to light a cigarette soaked with PCP when the bed caught fire. Now, 30 people are without a home. Uh, most of them are staying at hotels in the area and others with relatives. The Red Cross does continue to work with those residents. This morning, a spokesperson told me that they do plan to check in with many of the victims today over the phone to see what else they need to get back on their feet. Also this morning, KCPNL and MGE were out here assessing the damage. They're working to restore power and gas to the neighboring building. During Friday's fire, there were concerns that the intense flames would jump to that structure. Fortunately, that did not happen. Now, the suspect, LaQuasia Smith, is set to be in court for the first time regarding these charges at 1.30 this afternoon. Coming up later in the newscast here, what she was doing at this apartment on Friday morning. Reporting live this morning in Kansas City, Andres Gutierrez, 41 Action News.